Hi guys. Sorry that I'm a little late. A few minutes. It always takes me just a little bit longer to get ready than I think it's going to. Hello, Jillian, Mary, and Kathy. Hi, Helena. <laughs> Hi guys. So today I was this close to being ready to do the multiple camera view for this. I was getting really, really pumped to make it work. Um, I wanted to have my face camera, but also have my nails being showed and we were gonna swatch some polishes. Hi, oh, thanks, thanks so much. Um, and then I discovered that the component that I purchased to make that work, I guess was the wrong one or something. So I have to go buy another little piece of equipment. So, <laughs> oh well, oh well. Hi everyone. This is the first you've ever made it to from the beginning. Yay, Elise. <laughs> it is Donna because last week we talked about doing lives for the time being until I can catch up my life. And we also talked about, um, I'm trying to make lives incorporate this element of swatch fest and show where we do, which chat and do giveaways, but also swatching things too. So I'm working on trying to get um, two views so we can swatch things and do this. Hi, hi, hi. Do this format as well. So I'm working on it and I'm really excited about that option. Um, I just have to figure out the technicality of it a little bit more. I thought I had it set, but <laughs> because I've had it with editing. Um, yeah, you know, it's really not that bad. This week I, this week was completely different than the last couple weeks and I've been able to start feeling like myself again. <laughs> and you know, the polish pickup wouldn't have been so bad. It was just that I broke all those nails. So the brands had been sending me all their stuff and everybody was nice and timely and all that stuff, but I had broken nails and so I couldn't swatch anything. And so it was kind of like a combination. It's the perfect storm for making things impossible. Hi, Ilka. Hi, Brittany. Yay. I'm sorry, Mary. I know. I know. I, I, <laughs> It's really hard for me to know that I'm I'm disappointing you guys. It's hard for me. I just I have to figure out how to make it work with my time. <clears throat> you didn't see the video. It was from probably about a month ago. Yay, you're here finally. Hi Louise. Let me see. Whoopsie, let me see here. My phone is covered in hollow dust. <laughs> Apparently, oh, nice. <clears throat> I'm watching myself live and live. That's not what I'm trying to do. Um, apparently this morning when I was mixing polish, <laughs> the thumbnail for this video is the back of my head. Um, it shouldn't be. I took a different thumbnail, but hey. Whatever works. Um, it looks like it was uploaded, says one month ago, and it was on January 22nd, actually. That's almost two months ago. That might be why you missed it. Thanks, you guys. The family, Salem is doing homework. He's writing a paper, and the rest of the kiddos are having lunch with Tim. I found his shirt at um, Target last night. Have you guys seen this shirt? It has like iridescent lettering. <laughs> Obviously it says friends. I just can't get the whole thing on there. And it's iridescent, it's so pretty. Well, it actually kind of looks more oil spill than just straight up iridescent. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. <laughs> Louise, you have no delay on yours. You're just like right there. Is it a baseball 3-4? No, it's to here. Baseball means it goes down 
through your uh, forearm, right? I actually picked up a few shirts yesterday. I found a bunch of things that work for, good for gifts. They have, so I usually, I usually like buy my t-shirts in the men's section because I, I like a longer sleeve and I just like, I sometimes like a more roomier feel, but what I don't like is the neck that like cuts me right there. And so I noticed that they had these softer, like graphic tee, um, let me see, this is bothering me just a little bit. There we go. The This graphic tee kind of material, um, and it was right at the front. Well, I, of course, all the targets are different, but mine was right at the front. High neck on a shirt. It's the worst, right? You're just all day long, you're just like, Gah. just being choked. Um, yeah, me too, Stephanie. So anyway, but um, I've been getting sick of those high necks, and I noticed that they had these, um, but of course it's gray. <laughs> But I noticed they had these kind of towards the front. They had a bunch of these um, graphic tees. So, yeah. And I'm feeling that on this shirt too, Jess. But it's not it's not as bad. So, anyway. How's everybody doing today? I have so much polish to show you here. I want to show you a bunch of new things that are going to be coming up on my channel. There's a lot of polish. Where is your green? Oh, well, St. Patrick's Day. Is St. Patrick's Day today or tomorrow? I thought it was tomorrow. Sorry. I actually had a green shirt on. Hi, hi. I had a green shirt on right before um, I was filming, but it was a shirt that I was sleeping in, so I decided to change, you know. What green polishes are people wearing? True. Maybe Margaret was wondering where my green polish was on my nails, which are currently just base coated and they're breathing. A bunch of gorgeous greens in front of me here. More shelves for your snups. Are you working on your app right now? Pools of Agonar, woo! Stacy was wearing that the other day too, and I was just actually making up a batch of it this morning. Oh, you are! Yay! That's one of my favorite polishes ever. Something Gecko from OPI. I'm sorry you're sick, Tammy. I hope you feel better soon. Zoya Stassi. Color Club Supernatural. Swirly Twirly Gumdrops. Oh, thanks. Primary Incantatum. Mmm. I purchased two polish from HHC. I feel like it should maybe be here already because that event happened like a week after or two, is it two weeks after polish pickup? I feel like it should be here. I need to check on that actually. Um, I purchased two yellow polishes because I just can't help myself. Merida, oh yeah, Merida is really great. <laughs> Elise. Oh, really? HHC takes forever. Longer than polish pickup even, huh? It was my first time purchasing from them, actually. Oh, yay! I feel like somebody posted about I could be the one recently because I've had a number of orders with it. Oh, that's going to bug me. I've had a number of orders with it um, lately. Oh, it's just from Hawaii. Okay. Yes, I did see the new yellow cream. I swatched it for you guys in a video that's coming up this week. I have it right here in front of me, actually. It's amazing. It's basically a neon yellow with a lot of white in it to make it a really nice, robust formula. I was going to show you guys their new Princess Bride theme collection. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of stuff today. It makes, the top coat makes a pretty awesome peel off base coat. Awesome, I'll have to try that. I've I've never had luck with peel off base coats. I just, I feel like they maybe don't really work that well with my nails because, oops, I bumped the camera twice. That yellow other cream formula, yeah, it's really good. Really, really good. 
Why don't we just go ahead and start with Night Owl Lacquer, you guys, since we're talking about it. So their new Princess Bride theme collection, which you guys know, obviously, I'm crazy about it. It's a grab bag collection of formulas, and I love those kind of collections because you get to play with a lot of different kinds of things, and it's not just like one formula throughout for a bunch of colors. That is nice too, of course, because then you get to try like a formula you really like in all your favorite colors, but I really like grab bags quite a bit. So the new collection, um, is it the True Love Collection? It's not launching until next Friday the 22nd. And so we're gonna have a video coming up on it in the next few days. Let me, let me pull it up here. Um, so I want to talk to you guys about these polishes real quick and then we'll have a giveaway of some. Actually, I don't have night owl lacquer out here in front of me. What the heck happened? I thought I pulled it. Oh, you know what I did? <laughs> I pulled a bunch of super chick lacquer nail polishes thinking that they were night owl lacquer, but of course I know that they're not the same thing. I just, um, was pulling bottles. Because I'm silly like that. Um, this is not what I was looking for. Okay, so yes, it's the True Love Collection, and it's um, going to go live next Friday, March 22nd at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And then at the same time, the April Cream of the Month, month which is Squeeze the Day, is uh, this one we were just talking about. So this is going to go live on the same time. And their creams are really, really awesome formula, and they're only $7.00. And they stay around, so you don't have to, um, like, you can go back and pick up past months. Okay, so first we have, it would take a miracle. And this is a light white or gray Crelly with a rainbow multi-chrome flakies in there. Then we have prepare to die with an exclamation point. And this is like an indigo jelly base with multi-chrome flakies and silver flakies. Then we have the Pit of Despair. And it's a multi-chrome um, shimmer in there with, um, I think it's Micro Silver Hollow Flakies. I have the descriptions in front of me, but is it more fun to guess? Sometimes. Okay, this one is really, really cool. This is like a neon teal jelly base. And then it has all of these yellow, yellow to green, I think, flakies in there. It looks so cool. This one's called As You Wish. And then we have Death Cannot Stop, Stop True Love. And this is kind of like a rose gold. I think it's a micro flaky in there. So there's that one. And then we have Inconceivable. And this is a red to gold to green multi-chrome. And it's in a green tinted base, I'm pretty sure. And it has flakies. Oh, there's polish on my nail from mixing polish earlier. Um, lots of flakies and all the goodness. This is a very mystical, magical looking polish. So these are all launching next Friday, you guys. Um, I don't want to waste your time more by pulling different polishes than the ones that I already pulled. So we're gonna give away these super chick lacquers and um, maybe we'll do night owl lacquer next weekend. Sorry, I, um, I missed all your comments just now. There were a lot of them. Welcome everybody who's just now joined. We're gonna start with our first giveaway. So if this is your first weekend here, um, I give away Indie Polish. Well, it's our new thing that we're calling it every Saturday. Previously it was maybe like once a month, then it turned to twice a month. Now it's every Saturday. Surprise! So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be entering a number into the comment section. Make sure it says live chat, not top chat. I'm just not changing mine as well. Up at the top, there's a drop down box. Make sure it says live chat. Hi. Welcome everybody who's just getting here. 
Yep, make sure it says live chat. So um, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be entering a number into the comments. Um, you're going to be putting in a number between, hi, Latasha, um, between 1 and 100. And, um, but you're going to wait till I both say the word go and type the word go because of, you know, we're all over the world here. So the minute four people are here. Four people are here. Well, there are four people here, but there's more than four people. Um, oh, I didn't realize I grabbed two kind of similar shades, but that's okay. That's okay. We haven't done Super Chick Lacquer in a minute. Okay, so in case of a tie, then we go off of who the majority f saw first in their comments. And that's why after I reveal what my random number generator has picked, hi, Christina, um, then everybody will put in who they see as the person who got that number. Well, you don't all have to do it. But once I have about a consensus of 10, 10 people all saying that they see the same person first, then that person will be my winner. I will say your name a number of times. That's how you'll know you're my winner. And then what you're going to do is email me at pmoonnails at gmail.com. But if you missed that, it's in the description of every single one of my videos. Except not this one, because this one has no description notes right now. Ooh, these are so pretty, these super chick lacquers. Um... So what I'm going to be showing you five polishes and you're going to pick two. Now you guys actually a couple of my winners from last week didn't send me emails. I got an email from Becca and um, but Flory, if you're here, I didn't get an email from you yet. And my other winner, I'm, you're, I'm trying to blink on your name right now, didn't message me either. But um, so I'm still waiting for one of you to get back to me too. So hi Katya. I'm glad you didn't miss it this time. Hi Gail. Okay, so if you're my winner, you're going to be picking two out of these five. Email me and let me know what you want, and then I will send them to you. Okay, so first up we have Gold Rush, and this is a gold holographic polish. Gold Rush. If you haven't tried Super Chick Lacquer, um, this brand and Clorissa Carol were the first brands that I ever started swatching for, pretty much. And Virago Varnish, too, I think. So we've been looking at them for a long time on my channel. This is Boo. This is a glow-in-the-dark polish. And then, of course, you can see it has all these iridescent flakies in there. Something loud outside my office. Then we have a spoonful of Sugar Plum. And this collection was these highly holographic um, glitters with strong shimmer. You can see the pink in there. And then um, they were all different colors, and it's inspired by the... Um, the Nutcracker movie that came out at Christmas. Very, very holographic and they're scented. So spoonful of sugar plum. That one smells amazing. Okay, hypothermia. This is a blue linear hollow. And then I actually pulled this one too and it's just a deeper version. There are different colors though. I did a comparison post in one of my videos a while back, throwing shade. So. So those are your five that you can choose from, and you can rock some new Super Chick Lacquers this month. Yeah, it's scented. Hi, Norma. You've never tried Super Chick. Well, maybe you will win. Oh, she does? Okay. Louise, that would be awesome. Maybe I should just guess what she wants and send them to her. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So, ready? Go. Type a number between 1 and 100. And let me get my random number generator up here. I'm messaging Tim to see if he'll pick me up some lunch. <laughs> Last night, um, hold on, I can't talk and text at the same time. Can you guys? I end up texting what I'm ta what I'm singing. <laughs> Last night we went and we went to my favorite barbecue place that I always like to go to. Um, 
And yep, everybody get your numbers in. We're gonna go for like an, a minute and a half. Everybody get your numbers in. Only pick one number, okay? You get to choose one number for each giveaway. But we're doing five giveaways today. <laughs> Kim, yeah, I forgot to eat breakfast. Actually, I forgot to eat anything. My water's right over here though, so I should take a water. This is my spark vitamin water. Um, we went to go see Alita Battle Angel, which I enjoyed because it's a very, very beautiful movie. It was really pretty. I thought that some of the storyline was just not my fave. I started laughing at one point and Tim turns over and he's like, oh, are you crying? I'm like, no. <laughs> I was laughing because I thought that the... <clears throat> Well, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't seen it. I do think it's worth seeing. Um, but, like, the love story, I didn't really buy into the love story that was going on in that film. And so a lot of the aspects of it were just a little bit laughable. But that's okay. It was still really pretty. And if the whole movie was, like, the fighting parts of the show would have been way better. Okay, there's your stop. Let me get my, I don't know why I keep dropping my phone all the way down there. <sighs> okay. You don't like the love story. Kathy, it kind of sounds like you and I should go see movies together. Um, okay, the number we're looking for is 31. Yeah, drum roll, Louise. Does anyone see a 31? We're looking for, okay, so you, sorry, I didn't say this before. I do see a 31. We're looking for the closest number without going over, but I do see at least one person who picked that number today. That's who I saw too. Congrats, Christina. Where's my pad of paper? There it is. Okay, Christina's getting some super chick. Christina, I'm sorry I keep saying Germany. You live in Denmark, right? Denmark. <laughs> my silly brain. Get the scented one. Get the scented one. Get the scented one. Hi, welcome. You want a drawing for a tequila, tequila bottle? That's funny. Okay, so the brands that we are going to do left. We have Chloris Carol. We have a grab bag from Polish Pickup. We have Glam Polish. And we have Moonshine Manny. What would you guys like to do next? Oops. All right, Miranda's in with the grab bag first. You gotta be fast to beat some of these ladies, you guys. All right, here's our grab bag. Very holographic grab bag. So, okay. If for some reason anyone doesn't know, I was the blogger of the month for March polish pickup. So I have almost all of the polishes and so I've just pulled polishes from there. So we have this polish, it's Indie by Patty Lopez. This one is awesome. I didn't get a ton of time to play with this polish. It came in right before the everything went live. I'm going hunting and I loved it. It has gorgeous shimmer in there among all that hollow and it has um, red glitters, purple glitters. It's really, really cool. This is my first Indie by Patty Lopez too. So there's this one. Then we have this cool stamping polish. This is from Moonflower Polish. And this one's called You're All I Need. And it is a purple with like a pink and gold shimmer in it. And it's holographic. It's a really beautiful shade of purple. Did I just buy? Oh, anyway, 
Um, this next one is from Nail Hoot. This is so, so pretty. It's called Pieces of You. It's, it was inspired by Jewel. And um, this one is kind of like an aquamarine crelly with tons of flakies. It's so pretty. Super, super pretty. I love Jewel, too. I need to look her up and see what she's doing lately. This next one is from Nevermind. And it has a kind of like copper to red multi-chrome in it. And it's really, really bright. And then it has all these multi-chrome flakies. Gold, green to like copper and red. This one's called You Don't See Me. And this one was also my first Nevermind. It was such a treat to get to swatch these brands. And it is a treat for me to um, send them on to you guys as well. <laughs> At least I know, right? I was like, oh, <laughs> you're not a regular. <laughs> this is Don't Stop Believing from Nailed It. I believe this is this brand is from Hawaii. Is this the brand that runs um, HHC maybe? I'm sure there's more people than just one brand that lives in Hawaii. So I loved this one. Oh my goodness, you guys. It is purple holographic magic with tons of flakies and shimmer. It's so crazy. It's so good. It's also very opaque. It's incredibly opaque. I should do it when you can't see my face. Well, if I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Because I want to I want to still be able to continue to do why is this shutting off? Continue to do my Saturday Swatch Fest and get through my Swatch Fest bin. Please. <laughs> I'll get it figured out, you guys. I just, I thought I had the right, so I thought I had the right equipment. I tried to set it up this morning. It didn't work out. So I'll get it figured out. Um, I've seen YouTube channels, uh, nail YouTube channels even, who um, are already incorporating this. I don't know if it's they're doing it on like Twitch and then they're uploading it to YouTube, but I'm trying to, I want to make it work. Yeah, me too, Latasha. Everybody, Latasha just started swatching for me a little bit ago. She offered to help me out, and she's been doing it so amazingly. So thank you to Latasha. Public thank you for all of your amazing work, and she donates her time to me to swatch my polishes on her beautiful long nails. She's such a sweetheart. <laughs> okay, so what were we doing? Um, grab bag. <laughs> I'm losing my mind here. <laughs> okay, so put it in number between one and a hundred. I'm a little congested today, I have to admit, you guys. It's throwing me off. Sorry, that's annoying too. <sighs> You didn't voice go. Oh, I didn't? I'm sorry, Yvette. Go. Sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. Let's see, where's my pen? There it is. Thank you, Norma. Actually, two of my swatchers have been with me for, Devin's been with me for a couple of years now. And Brandy is also from Canada as well. Thank you. The comments are ahead of the video. Okay, well. Everybody got their number in? Hi, the cat lady. Hi, Heidi, and Karen, and Ashley. Hi, everybody. Devin just got a new job, actually, and he's been training to um, become a nail tech and just got a new job. So I'm really, really excited for him. He's just going to give so many people super, super bomb nails. Have you guys seen that he makes nail sets? He posts them on his Instagram, I think. 
Yeah, right? So, okay, I'm saying stop, okay? So the number we're looking for is 95. 95, 95. Hi, Debbie. Yes, it's polish his nails. So polish his, so there's two H's together. He might have a separate account for, I'm not sure. He might have a separate account for his nail tech work. I'm not sure. Definitely. Does anybody have a 95? 95, come on down. Elise? 87 was the closest to 95, huh? We don't have more than one Elise here, right? We're talking about Elise Harrison. I am, there's my pen. Someone has 99. Yep, it has to be under. Yay, Elise! Congrats, girlfriend. You had 91. Can anybody confirm that for me? If we had a 91? Anyone? So we go off of what the majority of the comments say, so it's not just based upon how my internet interprets the comment section. So that's why we ask everybody to come up to a consensus so that it feels fair. So unfortunately, it looks like that comment didn't get entered in the majority of people's chats today. But we're gonna have more giveaways right now. Speaking of which, we have MSM, Glam Polish, Chloris and Carol. What would you guys like to look at next? Hi, Gloria. MSM. INM Nail Lacquer. Um, I would have to look up a picture of what that looks like. I've done IBD Nail Lacquer. INM. Oh, like out the door? They have a, or like the northern lights. Yeah, out the door. I've only ever tried the out the door top coat. I've never tried their actual nail polish. Hmm. Yeah, I've never actually tried the, the nail polish. Okay, so Moonshine Manny is launching some new products this weekend. Sorry, let me get up here and show you guys real quick. <clears throat> First, I want to show you. Okay, so we're going to have a whole video not just taking the place of Swatch Fest um, like we used to do because I have a few brands that just automatically sent me their their um, polish pickup this month as well. So I have more than just my use. So we're going to have a, a full video for it. But my polish pickup this month, so this month's theme is... Um, works of art and or famous works of art. So I made a polish that's meant to look like marble and it has, but I had to do a twist on it, of course. So I have some turquoise glitters in there too. So there's turquoise glitters, black, black hollow glitters and iridescent glitters in there. And this polish is inspired by this statue, the 
Hellenistic statue winged victory of, well, it's called Nike of Samothrace. Is that the right word? <clears throat> so this is my, this is my polish pickup coming up. And I feel like polish pickup is kind of late this next month. It's like the 8th or something. March is a long month. There are five Fridays in March. It's the 5th. The 5th is polish pickup. The 5th through the 8th. So, um, so that's coming up. And then I'm having a hard time not losing my mind today, guys. Where? There we go. Okay. So the um, Moonshine Manny Facebook group exclusive always launches on the 4th Friday of the month. So this Friday, this next Friday, the 22nd. Um, Brenda supplied us with our winning theme this month. So every month I pull the group. I ask you guys to give me your submissions of what you want your like dream polish to look like. And, um, Brenda s supplied a theme of this bright, like lavender purple rock. And she wanted a, a coral fixation version in a purple. So that's what you have. It's called blueberry ice queen. There's lots of flakies in here. Basically think coral fixation, but in a purple. And then it was high time that I created some more polishes for the Looking for Group collection. So if you guys don't know, if you're just joining me, I play World of Warcraft with my family. It's where Tim and I met. So it's always like had a special place for our family. And um, we actually met at Pools of Agonar, which is why I made a polish called Pools of Agonar. If you were here earlier and wondering what that was about. So, um, back in that collection launched, it's still on my website if you want to go take a look at it, but it launched last year. And then about three months later, I released two, um, like expansion packs, if you will, two new polishes to it, Malfurion Storm Rage and, um, Karazhan. And so here we have two more. This polish first is for the Dark Iron Dwarf race, which I still don't have yet. And I never have time to play lately. So that's why I can't ever get it. But my son has it and I'm super pumped to finally have one. This is a slightly purpley leaning gray. And then it's filled with a red to gold multi-chrome shimmer in there that you can see. And then it also has red to bronze to copper multi-chrome flakies in it. And this is called Dark Iron Destiny. And this is coming this Friday. Um, as, along with the new Facebook exclusive. By the way, if you want the current Facebook exclusive, which is called Absent Ma Absence Makes the Heart Glow Fonder, the last day to purchase it is Monday, and the cutoff is noon, my time, and I'm Pacific Standard Time. And then this one is called Baron's Chat. And this one was Tim's idea, because he... So one of the things that you can do on World of Warcraft, I guess, if you're, you're bored and you want to troll people, is you can go around and, and try to get people to fight you. You can... Just you guys know about internet trolling. I guess the Barrens is an area in World of Warcraft where it was really, really, it was a thing back in the day. I feel like it's not as much now, but back when, during Vanilla WoW especially, you could go to this one zone and players were pretty new there and you could pretty much just like get them to engage in, in fights and stuff. I don't know. I can't say I necessarily participated in it, but Tim always thought it was hilarious. So this is a wheat colored um, polish and it has, as you can see, lots of gold shimmer. It also has multi-chrome flakies that go from green to gold to um, copper to red. And so that's Baron's chat. So those are launching this Friday, but for the winner, um, can I compare that to Aslan? I can. I don't have it in front of me. Aslan is a very, very light um, golden neutral. It, it almost leans a little bit more peach, though. And this one is definitely like a paled out version of a mustard, which it looks like a wheat color to me. So, um, okay, so for the winner, right now, those items I just showed you aren't currently on my website. But for the winner, you can pick any two things that are on my website. <laughs> Lisa, I'm the same way. I only go on Facebook to talk to you guys. So, okay, I'm typing go, and I'm saying go. So you're going to put in your number, and if you are the winner of this one, just go on there and pick any two polishes you want. And again, just email me.
And then next month, we're doing Harry Potter again. It's going to be a small collection, though. It's just a little trio. I needed a month of just a, a little bit of polish releasing <laughs> so I can catch up on some things. But next month's Harry Potter. Louise already knows because she's been helping with me with names and color concepts because she is my resident Potterhead. Yay! Looks like I have a lot of Potterheads here. Yay! Nope, it's not the classes. I went even a little bit more b basic than that. That was my plan, Stephanie, and then I was like, but dang it, I want to do like all the first year classes and it's just too many polishes for me right now. <laughs> so I cut it back a little bit and we're going with even more basic than the classes. Oh really, Linda, that's funny. One of you guessed it. <laughs> so do we have everybody put their numbers? Everybody put their numbers in? Kim, spells would be a lot of polishes. <laughs> but I could, of course, always do them in, you know, not do them all in the same collection. <laughs> okay, you guys stopped putting numbers in. So here's your stop. Um, the number is 65. Do we have any 65? I know that would be good too. I definitely want to do a villains collection. Oh, 66, sorry. I do see a 65. Vikings collection, that would be really cool. Looks like we're getting a consensus here. Marie, is this your first win? Oh, thanks you guys. Thanks everyone for um, joining in so that we know we have a good consensus. Marie, yay! I think it's you. Marie, where are you from? At least, did you tell us where you're from? Yay, congrats. You guys are all so sweet. It was your second time making the live. Woohoo. Okay, guys. Actually, let me show you some more polishes that are coming out in the next couple weeks, real quick, before we move on. And you guys can decide if you want Glam next or Clarissa Carol next. So actually we'll look at the glam stuff when we do glam. Um, I was showing this on Instagram yesterday, the Cloudland, Georgia, and you're from Illinois, yay! Awesome guys. Um, okay, so the OPI Soft Shades collection is available at polishpick.com. So I just got these in the mail yesterday. Here is the color range, which you may say, some of you may say, oh, that's so boring, but this is a soft shades collection. So I have friends that like, these are the only colors they actually wear. I think for a lot of people that haven't got as deep into the nail polish rabbit hole as we are and want to try absolutely every polish color formula and everything, um, yours are, these Jody are out for delivery right now. That's awesome. These are the kind of colors that people lean to because they are very easy to wear kinds of shades. So we have Bare My Soul. I went over these on Instagram if you want to go look at them up close too, but Bare My Soul and this one here. These are like the two pink. Well, actually, there's four kind of pink shades, as you can see, but these are the two that are don't have shimmer or anything. And this one is Baby Take a Vow. As you can see, one is like much brighter than the other one. And then we have the two shimmering ones, and this one's a pearly finish, and this one's a shimmer. So, meaning you can see the particles on this, and this one is like through and through a lustery pearl. So, this one, the pearly one is chiffon of you, and this one is throw me a kiss, the shimmering one. And, excuse me, and then we have two grays. 
One is a blue leaning gray and one is more just of a stone straight up gray or maybe a tiny purple leaning. Oh, that's nice, Kathy. Yeah. Uh, Marie, I love gray polish. I love gray polish. Um, so uh, did I say this is Engagement to be the more stone colored one and then the more blue and leaning one is uh, Ring Bearer. So we'll have a review on those coming up soon. But we have some more indie polishes to look at. I have a new collection actually to share with you guys from Top Shelf Lacquer. We've looked at them um, a few times before because I do pick up her polishes from Polish Pickup. And so this time we have all of these brights with, they're all holographic and they all have a contrasting shimmer in them. As you can see in this one, it's purple to pink. This one is purple to green. Oh, they're so pretty. So this first one, Picnics in the Park, is like a neon green base, but it's, it's had white added to it and then all the holographic and shimmer. Picnic, picnics in the Park. And then we have like the neon purple. But they're not, they're not neon neon because they, they're not in their just straight up jelly form. But they, I, I believe that they're derivative of neon bases, I think. Not absolutely positive. Um, okay, yeah. I left one over there on purpose. I also have her polish pickup for April as well to share with you guys. So See the Cherry Blossoms is the pink. And it has that beautiful uh, purpley indigo shimmer there and then we have the light blue which is called catching butterflies and so you have that beautiful pink and then lots of holographic of course all of these are the same and then we have the darker blue and then it has a bright pink like a pinky fuchsia shimmer and it's called dancing in the rain we have that, and then, whoopsie, don't worry, it dropped on my soft mat that I'm kneeling on. This one's my favorite because I love pink and green together. Look at that. Ooh, bam, ooh, bam. This is First Spring Crocuses. And then we have a lighter purple that's filled with a pink, like a pinky copper, pink copper <laughs> shimmer. <laughs> and it's called Picking Wildflowers. So sorry, I'm showing these to you. I'm not giving them away right now because I have to do the review still. But sorry, I dropped one. I gotta get it. Um, maybe they'll be in a uh, coming up weeks giveaway. All right, yes, I'm kneeling right now. Is It's pronounced Isabel. I'm kneeling right now. I wasn't planning on today. I had a whole different setup right over there going on um, for being able to use the two cameras. But until I figure it out, um, to be able to use my same lighting and everything, it's just a whole thing, so, yes. <laughs> and my knees hurt, but it's okay, it's okay. I just, every time I stand up after one of these, it's only when I've been in here, so it's just the last three. <laughs> every time I stand up, I'm like, dang, I'm so old, because my knees are like, just not having it. Okay, well I have two of my work mats underneath my knees, because I stand all day to package polish and make polish, and so it's a cushion, and I have two of them stacked up together. But still, this is the third week I've been kneeling. Yeah. Uh, nope. <laughs> okay, so um, what were we doing next, you guys? Are we doing um, Clarissa Carol or Glam? What are we doing next? Glam. Tim says, Tim. Kim, I'm sorry. It says Kim and then your last name starts with a T. And Tim happens to come out of my mouth a lot. So, okay, we are giving away five polishes from the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina collection. And um, before we look at those, though, I want to show you the new collection that's launching. I have their next collection in front of me, and they are pastels. And I don't even think we've looked at them on Instagram yet. I need to put them on my Instagram. Um, so... Your first look at them right now. Let me make sure I've got all the dates right and everything. It is the Rainbows and Moonbeams collection. It's launching on March 29th, so you still have a minute for that. And yeah, 
March 29th, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this time. Usually I believe it's two. So let's take a look at them. My problem today is I don't have pockets in these pants I'm wearing. I'm wearing a pair of Tim's Gym shorts because I don't really have shorts. And so when it starts to warm up a little bit, I'm like, I don't want to wear pants. So I won't wear his pants. <laughs> okay, this is always be a unicorn. So all of these polishes pretty much have a pastel base and then they have a glitter element and usually a flaky element, sometimes not both, and then a strong shimmer. Then we have End of the Rainbow, light blue with that strong red shift in there and then it's a confetti neon glitter inside. And then we have Fairy Wings and Magical Things, which is the pink with a purple shimmer in there and pink and purple glitters. This one is a purple with flakies, a hollow, and a pinky red shimmer. It's probably a, it's an Aurora shimmer, I'm sure. It's probably going pink to gold or pink to green. Then we have, hi Catherine. Uh, you missed a few, but we still have two left. Then another purple, this one is called Chase Your Dreams and it has a different shimmer in it as you can see and different flakies and hollow. And then we have the green. I feel like this one's probably gonna sell out really fast, you guys. So just, just look out. <laughs> this one's called Daydream Believer and it has a golden shimmer in it and pink glitters and hollow. And then we have the orange sherbet shade and it has golden shimmer in it, like a golden green and lots of flakies. And does it have glitter? It has hollow in it, I can see. This is swinging on a star. And then we have this one, which is a, probably was a, a white base, but it has a strong pink to gold shimmer. That's making me, it's tricking my eye to think that this is like a very, very light pink. And then it has red and pink and hollow glitters in it. It's called Make Your Own Magic. And then we have this light tealy turquoise shade. And this one's called Drops of Jupiter. Of course, it has a really strong shimmer, as you can see, and lots of flakies. And hollow. And then this one is like a light gray. So I love it, of course. It's called To the Moon and Back. And it has a strong red to, sorry, I have to angle it different ways to see what the secondary shimmer is. It looks like it's a red to golden green shimmer or pink to green maybe. Lots of flakies and pink neon glitters. So those are not the polishes we're giving away right now because I still have to review those, but those will I'm sure show up in giveaways soon. You have yet to try glam. Heidi, maybe you will win today. The orange is really pretty too, huh? Were all of those song names, you guys? I recognize some of them, but Fairy Wings and Magical Things, Daydream Believer, I know is a song, but maybe they're all song names. The Purple Before Chase Your Dreams. Darker purple or lighter purple? There's actually three purples in this collection. One has the pink to gold, one is like this bright reddish shimmer, and one is the tealy kind of shimmer. The one with the tealy is Always Be a Unicorn. This darker one is Carrie Moonbeams. Oh, I didn't say it. Did I carry Moonbeams home in a jar? I didn't say it. That's why you're like, huh? That's the darker one with the pink. And then the lighter one. This is kind of like a dusty lavender. And it's called Chase Your Dreams. That would be cool gradient, huh? That would be super cool. Live, live love polish, especially purple. Me too, Cammie. Me too and gray, and yellow, and green, and blue. <laughs> okay, Charmaine, you haven't tried them either. Maybe today will be the day. Okay, where? <laughs> today is a struggle, you guys. It's because I have so much polish sitting over here on my piano bench. It's like a sea of polish that I wanna show you, and so I'm just losing track of everything. Okay, these are all polishes from the Sabrina the Teenage Witch collection. The review just went up on my channel a few days ago. Um, 
So, Mother of Demons. It is a stunningly dark, rich red with a strong red to green shimmer and all the flakies and hollow that they always have in their polishes. This one is a light gray. It probably is just a white base, but it has a lot of shimmer in it. It has like the, that bright indigo flash. And this one's called Academy of Unseen Arts. There's hollow glitters in there and lots of multi-chrome glitters. Sorry, if I hold it closer, you guys can get a better idea, can't you? Then we have this one, which is a red base, but it has such a strong um, green to red shimmer that it ends up looking green a lot of the times. Let me see if I can get it to go. Hmm. Just believe me, it's there. <laughs> it's it, I can see it in my, in my indirect light that's hitting off the surface of this, but it's hard to show you on the camera. So this one's called Book of the Beast. Then we have this polish, which is a dark blurple with a strong red shimmer in there. Is it red to green? It's mostly just looking red. This is Let Water Wash That Hex Away, The Hex Away. Look at all those flakies. And then this one, <laughs> Heidi's drool face. Uh, this one is a really deep, did she describe this as a blackberry? The Path of Night. And it has that strong indigo flash in it again. And then of course, so much flakies and so much hollow. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, Electron Blue Pearl? What are we doing? Tina, we are looking at some polishes that I'm gonna give away right now from Glam Polish. So remember, I'm showing you five. Pick your top two and email me if you are my winner. And if you're my winner, I will say your name many times. And we'll talk about where you're from and all that stuff. And that's how you know if you're my winner. <sighs> okay, so if you're just joining, you're gonna be putting in a number between one and 100. So I'm setting these down. Between one and 100. Ready, go. Type a number between one and 100. My giveaways are always open internationally, so feel free to enter no matter where you live. And then you're gonna be trying to get the closest to the number that my random number generator chooses without going over. And then we will all look and see what the number is. And it needs to be a consensus because if we have two people that choose the same number, make sure your thing up at the top says live chat, by the way. If we have two that pick the same number, it will be the first person who picked it, and it will be majority rules about whose comment showed up first in their chat field. In their chat field? I don't know. Oh. Yesterday when I was at the movies, I saw that Disney, <laughs> it was like the movie theater was taken over by Disney because they had these four posters all lined up together, and it was like, coming soon. So you've got Toy Story 4, Lion King, Aladdin and Dumbo all this year, right? They're just like, oh, thanks, Tina. This is just um, a wet and wild highlight. I didn't bring it down here. It's the one that I use most often because it's very light and it has a slight pink glow. Toy Story 4, you didn't hear that they're having a Toy Story, flo to Toy Story floor. Key and Peel are in it. The last three are all live action. I know, it's crazy. So there's one Pixar. I am excited, but I'm like apprehensive at the same time because the classics are classics. I haven't seen Captain Marvel yet, Stephanie. I need to go with some of my girlfriends that want to go watch it too because Tim and Salem went to go see it last weekend without me. I know. Well, see, I kind of feel the way that Jess feels about Dumbo. That is one of the movies, the Disney movies from our childhood that I just hated. I didn't like it. It was way too sad for me. So I have a feeling that they're probably going to try to cheer it up a little bit, but it has Tim Burton's the director, right? So it's going to have a kind of quirky, eerie feel to it. And then just like the images of the 
elephant painted like a clown. I just don't like it. I don't like it. I just don't. I don't know. It's it's just too hard <laughs> to watch. So I still need to watch the new Aladdin trailer, the one that just came out, because everyone hated how he looked as the genie for the Super Bowl. And um, yeah. Okay. Did we did we all get our numbers in? Stop. Yeah, the Lion King is really sad. Did you guys notice that? Like when we were all kids, well, I don't know how old you all are. I'm 35. I feel like when we were kids, the a lot the Disney movies always had like really serious things happening and had a lot of sad, sad things. And I think that they're all just much lighter now. Like if you take Inside Out or for what for example. Like, that's Pixar, right? So that's not a really Disney. But a move is a really sad thing, but it's not like your mom dies. Like, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like, and there's not there's not horrible villains in them anymore. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, maybe that's what it is, because the classic fairy tales were, like, a lot more serious. Did Aladdin come before Lion King? Aladdin was first, right? I think Aladdin was the first movie I ever saw in the theater. Okay, sorry, I typed stop. The number we're looking for is 12. 12. Bambi's mom, I mean, that was just like the worst, right? There's a, isn't there a Friends episode about that? Is it Friends where they talk about that? Maybe you're right, Gloria. I first saw The Little Mermaid. Hey, look at Heidi. Is it Heidi, you guys? And she was just saying she's never tried glam polish. Yeah, that's true. Frozen, the parents die. <laughs> oh, bye, Margaret. Yay for Heidi. Heidi, tell us all where you're from, hon. So, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we have Clarissa Carol left. I do want to show you some new polishes first from Clarissa Carol, also from Blush Lacquer. Um, so, Blush Lacquer's collection isn't launching until, let's see. Blush is launching on April 3rd, but I still want to give you guys some sneak peeks. So they have six new pastels with shimmer. They all have very soft, subtle gold flake and shimmer. See that there? And it's a contrasting shimmer. So they, she has six shimmers releasing and then six creams in the same colors. So they pair together. Um, so... Sorry, let me set a few down so that I can give you a close-up. So, like, here is the the purple one, actually. there's This is, like, the bluish purple one. There are two purples. One's a purpley purple, one's a bluish purple. So, see, it has the strong shimmer, and then it has the gold flake. This one's called Silver Lining. Hey everybody, would you guys check back really quick and see if you see Rachel's first or Heidi or Heidi's first while we're talking about these. And the comment that T just typed is the one that I usually state for you. Your number always does show up first because you're typing straight into your computer. So it's gonna immediately go on there and that's why we go off of what people all over the world see as a majority. So silver lining. Title Reflections is this teal. Look at that. Oh, baby. 
So again, these are coming April 3rd, and we will look at these more um, coming up. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know they were coming. So like here is the here is the um, turquoise and then the purpley blue. I mean, I guess it's a blue, but I think it's a purpley blue. And we have True Love and You and Me. So the two collections play together. So you can definitely just top the one that corresponds. Ian, it is 108. Oh, and I guess my computer came unplugged. There, plug back in. There you go, computer. <sighs> okay. Thank you all. Thank you all for confirming that for Rachel. Um, yeah, that's why we go off of what the majority of people say. So it's it can be a little bit of a bummer, but as long as you remember that I get I do these every week and um, you have lots of chances to win. Okay. Um. So that's blush coming out soon, and we'll look at that more soon. So Clarissa Carol um, just launched um, the Easter Basket collection, as you know. But right before that, she launched the Ice Cream Parlor Quartet. Well, she has launched four new polishes in these OG Carly formulas. If more ice cream parlor polishes. So this one I think is my favorite. Cherry on top. It has large cherry colored and grape and blue and yellow glitters, but mostly really large red dots. Or mostly it's the red that is the really large one. So you have cherry on top. You have Frozone Float. It's a light blue with pastel glitters. Pastel dots, mostly. And then you have this orange called Orange Creamsicle with red and black shreds in there. And it looks like some gold, too. And then we have Unicorn Swirl. So your review on this is coming up soon because this launch is just this next Friday. So that's coming up soon, guys. All right, so for today... I've pulled a few polishes from my Calorcy Curl Helmers. Now you want a creamsicle. Jess, I take my daughters to the corner market every Tuesday and Thursday where we wait for their brother to get out of high school. Um, so it's like in between pickups. And every day my three-year-old goes and gets an orange, that push-up pop, you know, that only comes in the orange creamsicle flavor. Every day. What time Friday? Um, oh, I'm sorry. She's Saturday. She's the 23rd, not Friday. Friday is Night Owl Lacquer and the Top Shelf Collection that we just looked at. And the Moonshine Mani Polishes. And Glam is the 26th. I didn't say. Did I? Yes, I did say. Okay. Calorisa Carol. I need to pull it up. If anybody knows, you can say while well, I'm waiting to pull it up is, just give me one second, um, it just says March 23rd, I don't have a time on it, um, sorry, it might be 9 a.m., I think she normally launches stuff at 9 a.m., my Calorsa Curl code is just my name, so it's really, really easy to remember it. At least these are eyelash extensions that I've had for over a year so that I never have to mess with false eyelashes or mascara ever again. Okay. Oh, the vanilla Coke? I've tried that that orange vanilla Coke. Well, I only tried the Zero Coke. The, is that what it's called, Zero Coke? Because they don't do it in Diet Coke flavor. 9 a.m., Charmaine says. And yes, it's just my name, Phoebe, just like it says on my channel. Okay, so the first polish today that you get to choose from is this awesome glitter topper in pinks and purples and silver hollows and iridescent things. This is called Hexy Lady. And Zero Sugar, yeah, that's what it's called. Then we have Renaissance, which is this multi-chrome in, uh, it's like a multi-chrome um, holographic hybrid. It has um, 
micro hollow flakies making up the hollow. And it goes from purple to green. Super pretty. Then we have this guy, which would be perfect if you had it today or tomorrow, but you can still rock it for summer. This is Boogie. And this polish, this whole collection had this um, kind of light shimmer and then, but it's a multi-chrome shimmer and then it has um, little chameleon glitters in there. I hear my family's coming home, so you guys will probably hear some noise in, in a little bit. Um, yeah, these ones that are in the smaller bottles are older ones. This is a super holographic uh, teal, dark turquoise or teal shade, and it's called My Favorite Jacket. Oh, this was from that fall collection. Ooh, this is so good. It also has some smaller glitters in there, as you can see. So pretty. And then this is from this Christmas collection, Tis the Season. This one was so cool. I remember this now. I It looked totally different on my nail than it looks in the bottle. Uh, because there's so much going on, but it's an incredibly reflective metallic component. But then there's smaller glitters in there. There's chameleon flakies, I believe, in there. It probably is holographic, too. So tis the season. All right. So out of those five, pick your top two if you are my winner. Oh, I see. We're kind of going late today, aren't we? Oh, my goodness. Sorry, guys. Um, okay. So ready, go. Oh, you're welcome, Jess. I am always happy to, <laughs> to um, let you guys know about new brands. I'm excited that you guys can see Top Shelf Lacquer and Blush Lacquer on my channel now, too. You can get an idea about what their formulas are like and everything. My favorite shiny top coat. Currently, my favorite tiny, shiny top coat is the Moonshine Manny. <laughs> Let's go quick dry top coat. I'm, I'm kind of a sucker for um, scented top coats, which is why I decided to create mine with a scented option. Oh, I forgot to say. Okay, two new Moonshine Mini products launching this Friday. <laughs> um, I have a new scent coming for the top coat. It smells like a cup of coffee, and it's called Jump. And it's like a cup of coffee with a little swirl of creamer in it. And then I have a new scent of the Soothe Criminal Acetone Additive coming out. And it smells like a bowl of Fruit Loops. So it's really, really strong and delicious smelling. Oh, good. I'm so glad, Jennifer. Good, 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 good. Um, so those are also launching this weekend, too. The Sooth Criminal, um, there's bundles on there and everything. There's, there's all kinds of ways to save money on my website too if you use your bundles and things like that don't forget about those i created those so that you wouldn't need to have a code first getting savings on my website so that you can always use the facebook code too because my website doesn't let you do two codes how tall am i i'm five four so yes i do it's called soothe criminal elise and it's a one ounce container, so it's a larger size. Um, so you can use it for at least two full of your pumps of acetone, like the full six ends in front of me over there, but it's too far to reach. <laughs> oh, hi, Candace. Fun ski vacation. Sasha, my brand is called Moonshine Manny. My last name is Moon, so it's a play off of that, and Moonshine <laughs> for fun. So, um, hi, Tim. Okay, guys, did everybody, did I say go? I said go, right? Yeah, you all got your numbers in. Okay, so this is the final giveaway for today. So stop. And the number we're looking for is nine. Did anybody type number nine? I see an eight. I see a couple eights. <clears throat> do you guys always stick with the same number for the whole day or do you like switch?
So I see actually, I see Whitney, but I also see a comment before Whitney. So we'll have to go off of a majority here because on mine, um, it's showing, <clears throat> it's showing Rachel first, right below Charmaine's comment, sandwiched in between Charmaine and Melissa. Are you guys seeing that or is it just me? You stuck with the same number. You guys see Rachel in there? Rachel, are you still here to claim your prize? Sorry, there's a number of Rachels. Rachel Appleby. You're still here. Yay, Rachel. See what I was just talking about just a second ago. <laughs> there's lots of chances to win. Rachel, where are you from? Kathy, you use the number every single time? Okay, uh, Whitley, you email me too. Okay, wait, is it Whitley or is it Whitney? Whitney. If you guys are equally seen, because I, I show Rachel way above Whitney, but if you guys aren't seeing her comment, I'll go ahead and honor both of them because I see, I see both. But Whitney, you can email me too, okay? So I'll put you both on here. Sure, no problem. We're just sending out more polish this week so more people can love on these brands. Well, congrats to everyone who won this week. Congrats, congrats. You guys have fun plans for the weekend? Honor has a birthday party tonight. That's pretty much what we're doing the rest of the day, just hanging out and getting some stuff done. Electron, it is it is derived from my love for you guys, my love for these brands, and knowing that I can't possibly wear them all. So that's why we have so many giveaways because it makes me just as happy to give polishes to you guys as it does to wear them. And I just, I just it makes me happy to know you guys are wearing these polishes and enjoying them rather than they're just sitting on my shelf. Prepping for a new baby in two weeks. Awesome. I love you guys too. I hope you guys had some fun today. Heidi, did you hurt yourself? Happy St. Patrick's Day weekend. Um, Charmaine, we're just going to stick with 12 o'clock, my time. Hopefully next week I'll have the additional setup, so we'll actually swatch through some polishes, but, you know, just in case I can't figure it out again, <laughs> just bear with me. You have a bad back? I'm sorry, Heidi. I hope Tim has delicious lunch for me too, Christina. <laughs> hey, Kim, I got a diamond painting. I did some on it this last week. I actually had a tiny bit of time, and it was fun. You do have to be able to see pretty close. I mean, you have to, it's a lot of staring in one place. Did you want lunch? Question mark, question mark. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Candace. Yeah, you did join us at the very end. Well, thanks to everyone for being here. I will see you back hopefully for lots of videos this next week. And um, for next Saturday, I hope you come back. Okay, bye everyone. Love you, thanks for coming. Bye.